When you think of DRM today, Denuvo is probably the first thing that comes to mind, and for good reason. Denuvo is widely perceived to be the strongest DRM to come along in years, so strong in fact that it occasionally prevents legitimate customers from playing the games they bought. All jokes aside, Denuvo has been a thorn in gamers' side for years now, mainly for the degradation it brings in performance, loading times and stability. On that note, we have analysed Denuvo's impact on performance and loading times as well as its history in previous games, so feel free to check that out if you haven't already. Links in the description and the top right corner. Despite these drawbacks, developers still spent up to €100,000 to use Denuvo in their games, as they believe it can stave off piracy for long enough to make their investment worthwhile. However, what if we told you that there is a DRM that is far stronger than Denuvo? Thrice as strong, by one metric. What we speak of is Windows 10 Exclusive UWP, short for Universal Windows Platform. Though unlike Denuvo, it is much more than a mere DRM. We'll explain its other functions along with its history in our next video, so be sure to subscribe and press the bell button to know when it's out. Also, please share this video to spread the word. As to why we made a video on UWP, it is used in high-profile franchises like Forza and Gears of War, hence it's a platform of significant influence in the games industry. As for DRM, even though UWP was not specifically specialised to resist piracy like Denuvo was, it still remained uncracked for years, which brings us back to our comparison with Denuvo. The nature of comparison begs the question, how do you measure a DRM's strength? To be comprehensive, we'll use several metrics, the first of which is the average number of days between the game's launch and the crack's release. Denuvo cracks have arrived on average 113 days since the game's launch. Universal Windows cracks have arrived on average 349 days since the game's launch. That is more than thrice as long as Denuvo. This does not account for uncracked games, which we'll now address in our second metric, the average number of days each DRM enjoys uncracked. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, there is very little difference. The average number of days Denuvo games enjoy uncracked rises to 115, while the Universal Windows figure dropped to 321 on account of the recently released Forza Horizon 4. However, these figures take into account the first crack released, without accounting for their quality. For example, the first cracks for Denuvo came from 3DM and were notoriously buggy and unstable. Conspiracy later released proper, reliable cracks for the games 3DM had bypassed. If we were to prioritise these proper, reliable cracks where possible, the average number of days Denuvo titles enjoyed uncracked rises to 139. This figure includes games that remain uncracked to this day. As for UWP, the average number of days their games enjoyed uncracked rose to 373. This is because Gears of War Ultimate Edition is reclassified as uncracked, as the available bypass is unreliable due to issues with saving checkpoints. Halo Wars 2 is also disqualified for similar issues. Interestingly enough, Halo Wars 2 was the first UWP title to use Denuvo, and it seems to have caused no hindrance to bypassing it. That being said, the bypass did have issues with saving progress, which is why it was disqualified as a proper crack. But this was also the case with the other bypass of Gears of War, so Denuvo seems to have had little impact protecting UWP. Our calculated figure does drop to 342 days if you include the recently released Forza Horizon 4. It's worth noting that we have considered only games that are exclusive to Universal Windows Platform, not games that are also released on other platforms, such as Rise of the Tomb Raider. For games that were exclusive to Universal Windows Platform, but now are no longer, we deal with their period of exclusivity. For example, the average number of days spent uncracked rises to 392 days if we disqualify Quantum Break for being cracked only after being ported to Steam, and drops again to 357 if we include the recently released Forza Horizon 4. Either way, Universal Windows Platform wins again. Only the margin of victory differs slightly based on what you consider. Another way to compare the DRMs is to look at the best and worst case scenarios for both, starting with their best performances. Handball 17 is a Denuvo game that has enjoyed the greatest length of time uncracked, 695 days, and is still uncracked to this day. 
As for Universal Windows, Gears of War Ultimate Edition holds the record for evading piracy for the longest time. 835 days after the game's launch, Mercs 213 released a crack using Codex's emulator, but as mentioned earlier, it cannot save checkpoints and thus cannot be considered a proper crack. As of this video, the game has lasted 955 days and counting without a proper crack. Both figures are well above De Novo's best score, so Universal Windows wins again, 3-0. That was their best. Let's look at their worst. De Novo has suffered numerous Day 1 cracks. FIFA 18, South Park Fractured But Whole, and Total War Warhammer 2, to name a few. There was no Day 1 Universal Windows crack. The fastest cracked game was Age of Empires Definitive Edition, which fell to piracy three days after its launch. All other cracks arrived well after the first week of release, so Universal Windows wins again for a tally of 4-0. Our next metric was inspired by Denuvo's own marketing director, who defended Denuvo in 2017 by saying, so far only one piracy group has been able to bypass it. Ironically, this no longer holds true for Denuvo, but still applies to Universal Windows. Only Codex has been able to crack UWP games, while Denuvo has been cracked by three groups. Conspiracy, Steampunks, and Codex. Six if you count Skid Row, Voxy, and Bald Man. UWP wins again for 5 0. For our final metric, let's look at the gap between the first launch of the DRM and the first crack for the DRM without restricting our scope to one game. Denuvo first launched with FIFA 15 on the 23rd of September 2014 and was first cracked by 3DM for Dragon Age Inquisition on 2nd of December 2014. In other words, the first crack for Denuvo arrived 70 days after the DRM entered the market. However, the 3DM crack we used for our calculation was unstable. Conspiracy released the first proper crack for Denuvo on July 26, 2015, 306 days since Denuvo first entered the scene. Gears of War Ultimate Edition, the first UWP game, launched on the 1st of March 2016. Codex first cracked Universal Windows platform on February 14th, 2018, 715 days since the platform released its first Windows 10 exclusive. Universal Windows platform wins again by more than double the numbers. To conclude, UWP evaded piracy far longer than Denuvo did, but at what cost? UWP games run only on Windows 10, with gamers running Windows 7 or 8 left in the dust. Denuvo runs wherever the game is programmed to run, but it might lock you out of the game if their servers go down. Which is worse is subjective, and we will let you be the judge. That wraps up our analysis of the Universal Windows platform. Our next video will explore other aspects of UWP, such as its restrictions and its history. The video after that will explore the differences between the wares seen, peer-to-peer -peer groups and repackers, so please like, subscribe and press the bell button to know when it's out. Do you play Rainbow Six Siege or Dota 2? Check out the other channel for analytical guides for both games. Link is in the description and on the screen. While you're here, feel free to watch the history of loot boxes, the founders farce, how Nvidia is delegitimizing their MSRP, and our four-part Denuvo analysis where we explore its history, its performance impact, and why developers stick with it even after it's being cracked.